Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about cashier transformation in SSIS package. We will learn about cashier transformation kind of intro and then we are going to perform a demo on cashier transformation. Before I would go, I, I, I go to the cashier and explain everything, I would like to take you back to the lookup transformation and uh, show you a few things uh, as you know that uh, we'll use the look up uh, transformation to join uh, our source uh, rows uh, with uh, the reference data that we saved uh, in the lookup uh, we can use full cache partial or no cache so in that case sometimes we've saved every record uh, in the memory sometimes we don't save that if we are using partial or uh, no cache and uh, we get some values from that reference data set so that's why we use the lookup it's very common uh, we any most of the packages uh, you will be working you will be using lookup to get some columns uh, from some uh, data source and then uh, if you take a look on this part uh, we have only OLEDB connection manager so there is a limitation we can use only OLEDB connection manager and that's uh, kind of really hard for, for some time especially when you have data coming in a flat file and you need to look up uh, against that data or the data is coming in Excel or data is in some idio.net uh, uh, source or maybe in Oracle and or there could be so many data sources uh, where you cannot uh, let's say you, you cannot use the OLEDB connection manager so in those cases uh, you are kind of limited uh, to use uh, that data set in the lookup because uh, lookup is only providing uh, the facility to use OLEDB connection manager you cannot use a flat file you cannot use Excel uh, source uh, or Excel connection manager here you cannot use ADO.NET connection manager here so only OLEDB connection manager but uh, with the cache transformation uh, what to happen we can read the data from any source what we like and then use the cache transformation as a destination and then we'll put that data into the memory once you put the data into memory then we can use that data in the lookup and we will make use of that connection manager or cache connection manager that we have created for that data source where we have loaded the data data from any source and into the cache so we will make that use of that connection manager let's go and take a look and perform a demo now here I have a sales file and it has a customer name and sale amount and I need to get the sale amount by using this customer name if I go back on the SQL side I have a table that called uh, lookup customer and this uh, table has uh, all those customers I want to read everything everything from this table then uh, I want to use uh, this uh, file as a lookup and get the sale amount but the problem is that I cannot use this one directly in the lookup so I cannot go ahead and uh, get this value I have to use the cache transformation first uh, load the data into the memory and then use in the lookup and uh, finally we'll be loading the data to the our table customer destination so that's where we are going to load the data so let's go ahead and create a uh, SSIS package here in SSIS packages right click new SSIS package and uh, we need a data flow task why because we will be reading uh, the data from a flat file and loading into the memory or you can call it cache so we will read uh, the data from the flat file by using flat file source double click make a connection to your file in this case we will be using a sales file and uh, first uh, uh, column um, first row sorry has the column names so this is checked already columns are coming correct column is customer name sale amount and you have Amir, Amraz and Robert three records 
go to advanced and then you can go ahead and change the data type if you feel here we are using worker 50 so we are fine with that and here in the sale amount we have uh, worker 50 but that should be integer so I have changed that value to the integer now hit ok retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow that means if there are some blank values in the source and we want to read them as null values we will be using this checkbox so that's ok hit columns and now hit ok and we will be using a cache transformation here and uh, we have to connect our source to the cache here we will be creating a new connection manager so you can go ahead and change the connection manager name if you like I can, I'm gonna just leave this one as it is and here we have two options first uh, we can put everything in the memory so if we don't say any or we do not uh, check this box uh, then uh, everything will be in the memory and uh, there is one limitation uh, if we are putting every, everything in the memory and we are not using uh, the cache file what happen we'll be only using uh, this connection manager in the same package where we have loaded the cache uh, loaded the data into the cache by using cache transformation so if we have created the file then uh, we have a possibility to create a file and uh, this is a uh, the file you will uh, create and then you can use in multiple packages so first package will load this file and uh, create this file cache file and then you can make use of this uh, file into any other packages or same packages as same package as well so in my scenario first of all I am uh, only limited uh, I I don't need to use uh, this uh, data in any other package so I'm gonna just load into the memory and uh, I'm not uh, going to create a file cache but I will perform another demo in which you will see how to use uh, this uh, file here we have columns and uh, then you provide the index position and we will be joining uh, on the customer name so I'm gonna call this one the index one and once you do that here you have a possibility to change the data types if you want to change it you can go ahead and change it and in our case we are fine so we have a sale uh, amount in uh, integer and customer name as a string and it is 50 we are all good hit ok and then uh, it is an all available destination columns must be mapped to the input column so we are all set hit ok now in this one first data flow we have loaded the data to cache or memory and next uh, we are going to make use of that connection manager so we have to bring uh, another data flow here and here we will be loading uh, the data we will be reading we will be reading the data from a SQL Server table. So we'll say OLEDB source. And here, let me see. Make a connection to the SQL Server. And it is in the test database. Hit OK. Now, here you can write a query. First of all, I don't recommend just saying select star and all that. So I always go ahead and write my query. So you can right click here and then say select top thousand this will prepare you a query you can remove the thousand part as well as you can remove the database name from it because you have or you are using the connection manager so you don't need the database here and here we'll say SQL query paste your query here and hit ok columns are coming correct and next we will be using lookup and in the lookup transformation we will be using the cache transformation connection manager so here we have lookup and we are gonna say full cache and then we'll say cache connection manager if you will try to select partial or no cache it will automatically jump to the OLEDB connection manager so 
the uh, cache connection manager is only available in a full cache because the data is saved in the memory so uh, if you are trying to hit a partial cache that means uh, the your uh, incoming data has to go to the SQL server for the query and uh, th find out the matching record so a partial cache or no cache it will be a uh, querying a uh, SQL server uh, table uh, so cache transformation um, there is no use of that uh, can, uh, cache connection manager so that's why it is only available in full cache when you select that one you will be having option if you select any other it will jump right to the OLEDB so select the full cache and cache connection manager here we will say redirect rows to the no match in case there are some rows which are not matching so we will redirect them to the no match output in lookup go to connection select the cache connection manager we have only one here so that's why we it is already selected if you have multiple you can select which one is required hit ok go to columns now here we will be mapping our customer sorry customer name with the customer name and then we need to select the sale amount so we selected that one so it will be added into the output of lookup and then finally we will be loading the data to the OLEDB destination that is uh, our C customer destination table let me use the destination OLEDB destination here matching records hit ok we are not concerned about non matching we, because if there are no ma non matching we don't care we don't want to load uh, uh, that information to anywhere so here we will select customer and destination map those columns and in the sale we will be mapping to the sale amount that's the name of the column so if you have the same name of uh, input columns and the destination column they will be mapped automatically and if uh, you have different names you have to manually map those uh, columns so hit ok and now we are all set and uh, we can r go ahead and run our SSIS package so first uh, data flow is going to load the cache from the flat file into the by using the cache transformation it will load the data into the memory then we will use that data in the second data flow in the lookup transformation and get the sale amount from that reference data and load into the OLEDB destination now run the package and we will see we can see that from here all the information we can see that how many records so three rows are added to the cache the system is processing the rows now the number of unique rows added to the cache is three so it will take care of if there are duplicate records it will tell you how many unique values you have in that data set and then it will process all those rows and load them so let's open that one so three rows from the flat file to the cache transformation in the memory they are saved once they are saved then dex data flow is running it is getting five records from the source table so this is our source table and it has five records but uh, there are only three matchings uh, so Amir, Amraza and Robert uh, that's the those are the only three records uh, which are in the file so that's why it uh, let uh, three records go to the matching and the other three are uh, two are ignored so we could have put into anywhere so let's say we want to put the flat file or some other SQL table and say non matching records uh, but we don't care in this uh, scenario and they will be these matching three records are loaded and here in the lookup uh, we have used those cache connection manager that means uh, it has uh, the data set uh, that we have extracted uh, from the flat file and uh, it mapped uh, on the customer name and then uh, any matching name is uh, then we are getting the sale amount from that uh, uh, cached records uh, and uh, fi finally putting into the destination stop the package go back run our query for the destination table and take a look 
so if you see here all those sale amounts are loaded to the final destination table so that's how your cache transformation works and uh, I hope you learn something good out of here here and uh, I will see you guys in the next video